how to get good. All right, a couple tips, super simple, nothing over overly complicated. All right, these are a couple tips on how to get good in Dragon Ball. The mistakes that I see made all the time, like 99% of the people that I play online, even the good people, right, that I play online make these mistakes. I don't get it. Now I do get it. They just don't know better. So let's talk about it. And also, can I get a uh, stream marker so my editors know where the hell to find this video? All right, let me pull up my notes, dude. I got my notes over here. I'm gonna pull them up real quick. Very simple. They're not. They're not even detailed at all. They're like the bare minimum, dude. Okay, the first big ass thing. What I see people do all the time is the waste their assist for no damn reason, right? So let's say you get this hit, right? You go, uh, 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 uh. oh, what happened to the tunes, bro? Hold on. All right, this is, this is one of the biggest mistakes I see all the time in this game. So let's say someone gets the hit, right? Like, uh, for example, with Gold Jeter, right? They'll do, sh I don't know, man, Waka Waka Flaga Flame, dude. They'll get the hit, right? They'll be like, uh, 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 uh. They'll call their assist, right? They'll get a little bit more damage, whatever, right? Uh, sorry, let me, let, me, let me do that again. They'll call it their assist after they use their sliding knockdown, right? That's one of the biggest mistakes I see people do. It's like, why would you call your assist after you use your sliding knockdown? And then you go for more damage, and then you no longer get a sliding knockdown, right? It's one of the biggest things I see people do. I don't get it. I don't get it. Or alternatively, let's say they get the hit, right? They'll do this, you know. They'll get the hit, right? Whatever. Whoops. They'll get the hit, and instead of doing, you know, regular sliding knockdown, they call their assist in Dragon Rush, right? They'll waste their assist, get like 150, 200 more damage, and then get a sliding knockdown. Went from the Dragon Rush when they could have had a sliding knockdown already, right? They could have just done this, you know. And whatever sliding knockdown their character has but they for some reason decide to do this right uh, 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 uh. you know dragon rush boom congratulations you got like 150 200 more damage than you would have but now you're down in assist where you could have used your assist on wake up basically what i'm saying is if you can get an skd you can't skd with some characters it's a very small number very small number yes there are rules to the exception like 21 can SKD without command grabbing with her back to the corner, right? There, there are rules to the exception. But I see this with characters that don't break that rule. Stop doing that. Stop wasting your assist for like 150 more damage when you can have them on the wake up, right? Where you can call your assist for safe Oki if you think they're going to level 3 you, you know? Don't, don't burn your assist for no damn reason. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I hate you. Stop doing that, all right? Don't be a victim. Don't be a victim, okay? Alternatively, it's better if you can to, to vanish Dragon Rush solo, right? To get the SKD. Alternatively, it's better to keep your assist on deck for pressure, combo extension, all that goo shit. Okay? Yeah, I'm attacking about 99% of you right now. Stop doing that. It's a waste. I don't wanna see no more. You get the hit. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Even if you could do grounded dragon rush back into SKD, no, save your assist. Don't do it, please. Don't do it. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. All right, that's tip one. Tip two, I kind of covered already. It's mixing up your tech options, right? I already talked about it in another video with you know delay up tech, right? But bear with me. There's more. You can also change your tech options in the air. This is another simple, super easy tip, dude. All right. This is what I see all y'all do, bro. Every single one of you. Every time. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I hate you. Okay? Uh, uh, uh. All right. This is how y'all tech. All of you. You back tech. Okay? That's sick. That's fine. But alternatively, you can down tech. You can forward tech. If you don't forward take out of the corner, I'm gonna come find you and we're gonna have a nice long talk with your parents, with your family. We're gonna have an intervention, dude. You 99% of the time you wanna forward take out of the corner, right? Now when I play casuals, I don't care what direction I tech in, because I'm probably gonna end up blocking you anyway. 
So you could probably be like, Mr. Streamer, you don't forward tech all the time. Well, that's because I sometimes I like to sit and block. And if you watch my streams, you know sometimes I just like to sit and block. I've made people rage quit from sitting and blocking, but we ain't talking about me right now. And and then the hidden option is you just don't tag at all. Like super high hit stun in the combo, or like those setups where they do a super in the corner, like Adal Gohan's level one in the corner. You know, and you just delay wake up, right? Or base Gokus that like to reset you in the middle of their super, you just don't tech. You that's when you do the delay wake up, right? Delay up tech that I talked about in my other video. And then you bonk them in the noggin because they think they big brain, but they dumb as shit. Okay? You understand? Got it? Get it? Got, Got it, it memorized? memorized? Good. Okay. Simple tip. Just forward. Go down. Don't always go back. Try it. Change your life. Life changing experience, I swear. Now. Now, this is another one. This is another one. Burning bar for no reason. The amount of times I've seen people get this hit, right? Let me, let me, let me adjust the meter, dude. Give you the visualization. Let you visualize this, all right? You got one bar. My man's got full health. You get the hit. You're like, uh, yeah, uh, we got it, dude. Uh. And then you super. And I'm just like, wait, what? Why would you super? Now I'm back in neutral. I recovered before you did. I'm out. Why would you do that? Why would you give me another chance to play, okay? With something huge. I see people burn their meter, right? Or like, they'll vanish incorrectly, okay? They'll vanish into a combo with high hit stun, right? Like, let's say you do a super long combo. For example, let's say you do something like this, right? You do this, right? Oh, is I actually too much hit stun for my own example? Uh, uh, uh. Let's see if I can even figure out a combo to do to show you guys. Right? And then you'll try to like dash up button, right? And then they instantly flip out. Don't do that. Stop. Get some help. I am the help. So get some me in your life. Just get the knockdown. Alright. And only extend if you're gonna kill. Alright, I don't want I wanna see y'all doing this. Uh, 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 uh. And it's not gonna kill. Unless you're gonna end in a level three, okay? Unless you're going to end in a level 3, then that's fine, right? If you're going to end in a level 3, that's perfectly okay. And another bonus tip, peep the assist gauge, all right? Look how fast your assist is going to come back if you, if you get your assist out, right? If you get your assist out with the super, actually, let me do all my assists so you could actually get a perfect vis visualization of this shit, all right? Well, let me, let me call my assist, dude. All right, peep it. Peep, peep what assist is going to come back faster. Who's going to come back faster? Who do you think gonna come back faster, chat? I'm gonna bring in UI Goku. Who do you think gonna regenerate faster? Peep this bonus tip. I even have this in my notes. This just hit me right now. This is a secret tip, dude. Brought to you by Mr. Streamer. I think I've talked about this before. Look at that assist recovery, dude. Oh, 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 look at Gogeta in half the time. So it's smart to level three with your other characters to get your assist back faster if you have no assists on deck. Nice little tip. Not a lot of people know about it. Alright, that's another tip on how to get good. Okay, pay attention. Peep it. Learn it. Put in your brain. Here's another bonus tip that I don't even got in my notes. Watch, look at my notes, dude. I got like five things in there, right? Look at this. I got like five things. You see it? It's five. I'm gonna give you another tip. This is actually gonna be for your seventh tip total. Alright, peep this. I don't even know where my camera is, alright? Check this out. I talked about this before. I'm gonna talk about it again. Check this out. Let's see. Hold on. Uh-huh. We blocking. We blocking. All right. Peep this, dude. Peep this. I want you to pay attention to 16th character portrait up top. I feel smarter already. Why is the... Oh, my God. Oh, there's a little red X that pops up. But I kind of job. There's a little red X that pops up when your opponent holds the roll tag when you get the knockdown. It's kind of weird. Let me, let me do this to myself, actually. Let me do this to myself. Let me do this to myself real quick. It's easier if I just set the computer to beat me up. Oh, I might have jobbed. What the hell is he doing? Oh. <laughs> Yo, RNG, thank you for the three months. I had no idea what he was doing for a second. I was so confused. So you see how there's a red X on UI? That means your opponent's holding raw tag. 
Don't let him get away with that. I can't even see where I have the webcam. Let me peep if I put it back. Yeah, don't let him get away with that. All right. Don't let him get away with that. He's holding raw tag, okay? Peep the red X. The red X on the character portrait right there. Chrome, fish, whoever edits it, put a bigger X on his face so you can see it. That means they're holding raw tag, right? Secret tip that the game doesn't tell you about. Another tip for me, for Mr. Streamer to you, to get good at this game. They're simple, they're easy to acknowledge. It doesn't have to be off of level 3s, they also pop up randomly during knockdowns and then you make them immediately block. Yes, people look at assists. It's the high level shit they never tell you about. It's the high level stuff that you never hear about. Watch, let me see if I can do it off a regular knockdown. Uh, let me see. Let me, yeah, let me see if I can do this off a regular knockdown. Yeah, see? Red X. If you see the red X, that means they're holding raw tag. So, so, so whenever you knock them down and you make them block immediately, peep it. Peep it. That means they're holding raw tag. Yeah. Little tips I never tell you about. But I got you, chat. I got you. I help you get good. This is how I get good for dummies in Dragon Ball. Alright? Book coming to a store near you soon. Right. Another thing. This one's super simple. Can't the red X come out as well if they are mashing an assist? Alternatively, well, kind of. Depends how hard they're mashing it, bro. If they're like a mile a minute, sure. But if they're mashing it that fast, they're probably going to get raw tag. But like some of the bigger brain baits is... This is like high level shit. They'll hold raw tag, then they'll let go. Because they know that you know... That the, that the raw tag is there. I got you, Boof, man. But yeah, they know, like, oh, he saw my red X. He thinks I'm a raw tag. I'm a not raw tag. And then you're at that awkward point where you just stare at each other. Because your opponent is expecting the raw tag. And you know they're expecting the raw tag. Nah, homie. People have done it. I've seen it in tournament. I've done it to people in tournament. That shit is crazy. Making the, it's, it's, it's the big brain mind games. Like, you hold it down, and then you let go. Right? It's, it's crazy. It, but it's like a, a high-level Dragon Ball, right? Most of you aren't going to have to notice. Uh, no, most of you aren't going to have to deal with this. What's the input for guard cancel? You block, and then you hit forward assist. Okay? But anyways, super simple. No more YOLO vanishes. Don't be don't be up here doing stuff. And then you YOLO vanish, right? The amount of times I've, I've sat in front of somebody, and then they just vanish. And then I just go, whoops, I, I, I 2A, so I know what happened. And then I extend with my assist, dude, and then you blow up. It's crazy. It's crazy, dude. Just, it, I know, it's a hard habit to break. It's a hard habit to break. But if you don't YOLO vanish, right? I've got lower levels, it's not going to matter, right? Green squares, yellow squares. It's not going to matter that much. But, you know, once you start getting to orange and pink, they're going to be a little bit better at 2 h you knew. Because they kind of know how to play the game better, right? But your lower levels are not, not too bad. But these these tips are for levels of all, all kinds, right? At any any point of the pyramid, this, this level, could, these tips could help you at that level. Okay? Don't yellow vanish, right? If you see an opportunity to do it, by all means. If you're in spark, empty vanish. There's another tip. If you're in spark, just empty vanish. Empty vanish and just jump away. If you got a good key blast like Kid Boo, you could spark, key blast, call and assist. Boom, every, I think every option is covered. Maybe, question mark. Don't quote me on that. But yeah. Yeah. Shit, you don't mess up, Jordan. Left and lost to Ichi because he did raw tag vanish, though. Left and lost to Goichi because he did raw. Did he raw tag vanish? Is that what happened? It happens all levels, by the way. Even Goichi had a YOLO vanish against Leffen in that legendary set, right? That people like to call it. But, but Leffen didn't punish it. Leffen missed it. Leffen could have changed the... We could be in a different timeline right now. Okay? We, the timeline where, where the virus is not happening if Leffen had hit that 2 h dude. We would have bridged off to a different part of the universe. Of the world. Of the grid. Of, of the Steins Gate timeline. We would have been on point A instead of point B. Goku would have lived in this unit. Anyways, moving on. All right, super simple. Try, try to stop YOLO vanishing because that also ties back to your meter, right? And your resources, okay? Now, finally, the last one. Trademarked by Kazunoko. I might actually have to give him money for this. 
I might have to actually give Kazunoko money for this because he trademarked this. Super Dash Assist is goaded. Goaded. Simple. It's easy. It gets you in your, your opponent's face, right? It's your turn. It's your turn. It's that damn good. All right. Some, come, some characters are better than others at it, but do it. Because if they block, right, it's your turn. Now you get mix, 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 mix. That's it. Congratulations. I taught you how to play neutral in Dragon Ball in like 10 seconds. Right? My, my assists aren't the best for it. But, you know, you get the point, right? You just super dash assist, bro. Uh -uh. This is my signature move as an 18 Yamcha player. Yeah. It's, so, it's just a simple, such a simple concept, but it's so good. Just super dash assist. Because your opponent can't do anything. Except maybe YOLO level 3 you. But even that's a risk in itself, you know. Now, my assist is a little harder to do with, you know, as you can see. Because, like, the startup is kind of slow. But if I time it right, then I can still do it. And even then, even if there is a gap, like, come on. Realistically, the, the chances of them doing something are going to be low. And then I get a mix. No, they can't. They can reflect your super dash. Or they could, uh, 2-H it. But, like, if you're in neutral and then your opponent jumps... And then you're like, oh, you jump, right? Or they super jump, double jump, you know? It's like, oh, you super jump, you double jump, sick. And then it's your turn, right? You just, you just, you just super dash assist, all right? And then especially if they block it in the air, you're hella plus. Ooh, my assist sucked for this, but my point still stands, right? Yeah, you know, I could call him earlier too, right? Like UI from back there. Uh, uh. Yeah, SD assist is goaded. My assists aren't the best for this example. Like if I had Yamcha, if I had Rocks, if I had Roshi B, you know? Perfect examples of great assists, right? Gotenks punches I think is pretty good too. Double reflect block strings are very risky anyway. Yeah, they are. Uh, uh. But yeah, easy, what, what, like seven tips, I think? Maybe eight? I even plan to put some of those tips in. They kind of just came to me. But these are some simple, easy tips on how to get good in Dragon Ball. They're super simple. They're not complicated, right? So some of you might be like, instructions unclear. Dick got caught in a ceiling fan. That's okay. That means you're attempting to learn. All right? Now get it out of the ceiling fan. But anyways, there you go. Simple tips of how to get good in Dragon Ball for dummies. Alright, you're welcome. I hope to see you implementing this. It's very easy. Alright. Yes, this will be on YouTube. Yes, you will be tested on this. Yes, I expect great remarks.